Hi, I'm Katie, and this is my new booktube channel, Lit Crit Kate. Um, so since this is my first video ever, I decided to do the booktube newbie tag. Um, so, and this is by Brenda C. I'll link the original down below. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Question one, why did you start this booktube channel? Um, I started this booktube channel because I got really into booktube several months ago and I decided that this is something that I really wanted to do because um, I love the way that people can express themselves in a video versus just typing a review like on Goodreads or on a blog. Question two, what are some fun and unique things that you can bring to booktube? I don't know. I, I'm really um, interested in doing some tags because I think those are really fun videos to watch. Um, and maybe I'll create one one day, I don't, I don't know. Question three, what are you most excited about for this new channel? I am excited um, kind of to join the booktube community and I've, I've heard that so many times when I've watched a lot of these booktube newbie tag videos, um, but it's kind of true. Like it's a really cool community that just seems really welcoming and um, really fun and it's a lot of people that share similar interests and, and um, a lot of my friends in real life do read but they don't always read the same books as me or they just aren't as like passionate as I am which is fine. Um, so I think just being able to express myself um, through video is going to be really fun and getting to know other people who are passionate about the same things as me. Um, in the booktube community is something I'm definitely excited about for this channel. Question four, why do you love reading? I love reading because um, I read a lot of like fantasy and science fiction, things that are not real. Um, and I kind of love it because it's so different and I have a very active imagination and I used to just, I mean, I just think of the most outlandish things and so it's really fun to be able to read that and just my imagination is going wild and I can just see it all in my head. It's like a movie when you're watching or when you're reading these books and I just kind of like that it's something different. It's kind of an escape even though I mean I don't really need need to escape. It's just it's just nice. It's different. It's creative. Question five. What book or series got you into reading? I've always been a big reader and um, ever since I was you know a little girl I would read a lot of books and my mom would read to me and that was really fun and so really the first book that I was just kind of in love with was definitely Ella Enchanted. Um, it's just a really sweet novel and it's kind of a Cinderella retelling so um, if you kind of like fairy tales it's like middle grade it's super easy um, it's a wonderful story so that's really kind of what got me into reading but that was something that we read together and it was really sweet. Um, Gil Carson Levine also wrote a series, um, not a series, but like a bunch of smaller books, novellas, I don't know. And The Fairy's Return is the bind up. And um, it's six different books and they are really cute. They're retellings of classic fairy tales. And um, I just remember they, they used to be these tiny little books, you know, before the bind up and I would want another one and another one and my mom and I would go to Half Price Books and buy um, the next one and it was it was so fun and I, I just really loved fairy tales when I was a kid. Um, and then the first series that I remember actively reading was the Enchanted Chronicles um, series and the first book is Dealing with Dragons and this is about a princess who doesn't really want to be a princess and she's not very proper and she goes to live with dragons and that sounds amazing. So this was the first series, there's four books in this that I actually remember reading by myself but I also, um, you know, I read the Harry Potter books as they were coming out which was so fun and I read Twilight of course and so I've always just kind of been a big reader um, and there was never like a spark moment when I was older that I was like this is what got me to reading like a lot of people it's Twilight that got them back into it or whatever so I don't know just always been a big reader leave a comment down below with what book series got you into reading question six what question would you like to ask your favorite booktuber I don't know um, I have several booktubers that I like watch regularly as, as they come out with new videos and I really, I don't know what I would ask them. Some, 
I just would like to hang out with some of them. They seem really cool. Um, <laughs> and I don't know. I mean, I'd love to like just sit and chat with them about books that I've read that they've also read and like just all the feels. It would be so fun, but I don't know that there's something that, like a burning question that I'm like wanting to ask. I don't know. Question seven, what challenges of starting a booktube channel do you think will be the hardest to overcome? I think for me, posting regular content is gonna be kinda of hard. Um, I am in my last semester of college and um, I work quite a bit, so I have a very busy schedule with just that alone, but um, I really am passionate about this and I, I really want to post regularly, but I think that's gonna be something that's harder for me. Um, I also think editing is going to be kind of hard for me. That's something I have zero experience with. Um, and so thankfully, one of my best friends has um, is, has a film degree and she's amazing and has offered to help me. So hopefully she'll be able to teach me some things and I can kind of learn really quickly and um, learn to edit my own videos to where they look really, really pretty nice. Um, so I definitely think like editing and posting content like on a regular basis is gonna be the hardest thing for me. Thanks for watching. If you um, like this video, hit the thumbs up down below and um, you know leave a comment, let me know. Um, if you would like to see more content from me, feel free to subscribe to my channel and uh, I'll catch you next time.